All right, everybody, welcome back to some Fortnite Battle Royale. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I hope you guys are having a good one, man. If you guys are enjoying the Fortnite series on the channel, be sure to show some love to that like button before we get started. Subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And without further ado, let's hop right into things. Now, in the background, we got a fire-ass gameplay going up here uh, in real time. Got to discuss some things, man, because there's a ton of news dropping and things happening behind the scenes in Fortnite that I think you guys should be aware of. So I'm going to drop all of this knowledge on you today, and I need you to let me know what you think about it in the comments, man. So first things first, we're just going to hop right into it because it's a ton of things, um, and I need to get through it before there's like nine minutes or some shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on a timer. Okay. Uh, so new updates. As soon as you log into the game, obviously, um, you got this new updates page, and it's been recently updated with a new limited time mode coming. So I've been loving these limited time modes. You had the sniper shootout. Uh, you had 50 versus 50. You've had solid gold. And now we're coming with a new limited time mode, Teams of 20. So instead of 50 versus 50, which was hella fun, I thought it was great. I mean, the fights were super intense. Now there's going to be five teams of 20 players. So this will probably only be around for, I don't know, a few days, maybe a week. I think it's a cool idea, though. Uh, like I said, I was a huge fan of 50 versus 50. So 20 versus 20. I mean, imagine like five teams fighting each other from five different directions. Holy shit, it'd be fantastic. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that should be coming in the recent days, but not recent days, uh, future days. You know what the hell I'm talking about. But Epic seemed to make a mistake because somebody logged into Fortnite. It wasn't me. I didn't actually see this. Uh, somebody logged into Fortnite, and instead of having this screen that showed the new limited time modes, they were shown a screen that advertised a legendary dragon fire shotgun, and holy shit. The shotgun has had no legendary drops uh, for the entirety of Fortnite, but apparently this shotgun does exist in the Save the World version, and I've never used it, I've never played Save the World, but it's called the dragon fire shotgun. Like I said, I'm not sure if that means like incendiary rounds, people are gonna burn after you shoot them, or what exactly. Um, is gonna happen. I personally think that shotguns are already pretty OP as it is, so I don't know how I feel about a legendary shotgun coming. Um, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it was just, uh, you know, supposed to be in, in Save the World. All of these things are not confirmed um, by any means, except for the limited time modes, obviously. That's, uh, that's confirmed. But a lot of it is from, you know, mistakes from Epic and then also data mining um, out of the files. So people go into the files of the game, they see things that were added. And now, of course, Epic knows that people do this and they could be planting things as decoys. You never, you never really know for sure. So some of this is speculation. Some of it may actually be happening. I'm sure, you know, a majority of it is. So let me know what y'all think about the Dragonfire legendary shotgun possibly coming to Battle Royale. Is it gonna be too OP? Will it have like a cooldown? Maybe only one shot, two shots before you have to, I don't know, go through some crazy reload animation? Because if it's a strong shotgun and it burns people after you, uh, after you shoot them, I just, I don't know, man. But on top of the shotgun, we got a few other items, consumables, traps. Uh, that seem to be added to the files that could be coming to Fortnite. The first of which, I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the description that shows the entire list here. I'm just going to go through some of the ones that I thought sounded uh, kind of cool. So the first thing is the airstrike laser. Now this would be a legendary drop. It says, mark a location to deliver an airstrike with four bomb payload. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You can direct an airstrike to a specified location. So, uh, think, I mean, I don't know, any game ever? Call of Duty is the first one that came to mind for me. I'm thinking this would be good for people that just hide in bases and camp. It says it drops four bombs, so I don't know if each bomb would destroy, you know, like one piece of a base or how quickly, um, you know, the bombs would be dropped, but maybe good against some, uh, some campers. I could definitely see an airstrike laser being kind of cool. 
Uh, instead of having to rush people hiding in bases, just drop a fucking airstrike on them. I like it, man. Um, so a backpack, which would be a rare item, obviously. Um, you have a limited amount of inventory size in Fortnite. You have to, you know, pick and choose what you want. But apparently you could grab this new backpack and increase your inventory size. So maybe get an extra slot you could carry, you know, mini shield, your AR, your shotgun, a sniper, fucking rockets and something else. Uh, so maybe that'll be a little OP. But does the backpack take up an inventory space? You know what I mean? It says it's rare. Uh, so, I mean, rare item. You find rare items in the game all the time. That's uh, that's blue. It'd be a blue drop. So uh, backpack, interesting. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that yet. Now, the new beehive grenade. It says bees. This is likely a grenade which applies damage over time effect to anyone within its explosion radius. And what I've gathered from all of these, um, all of these new things coming to Fortnite, it's a lot of new grenades. And I'm not sure how I feel about these exactly. It's grenades and like things that typically seem like they would slow down the pace of the gameplay. And you'll understand more when I continue to read some of these off. Uh, so you got the bottle rocket. Hurls a grenade. Bang, bang. Looks like a new way to throw grenades with more specific trajectories, perhaps at a further distance. So instead of throwing nades, you shoot a fucking bottle rocket at somebody. I did that when I was a kid. Shot a Roman candle at my friend's stomach. Burned a hole in his shirt. Didn't kill him, but it could have. I was dangerous. C4. Toss an explosive charge that can be detonated with your alternate fire or by shooting the charge. Uh, this would be uncommon. I imagine that's not going to be very useful, to be honest. Like... You'd have to run up to somebody's base and, like, stand there like an idiot just planting a C4. If you go up against anybody good, they're just going to shotgun you in the top of the head before you even get close. So, I don't know what that's supposed to do. Maybe it would take out multiple pieces and not just one. In that case, I could see it being uh, sort of effective. The Concussion Mine deals damage and slows nearby enemies when triggered. Very handy for those who have a more passive playstyle. Now, this is one of the ones that I just, I can't get down with, man. I don't want shit that's going to slow down the game. Imagine a guy camping in a base, you know, he's four stories up, he's got windows in it, and he's just planted Concussion Mines all the way around it. Now, if these are easy to see in the game and you can just shoot them, okay, it's not so bad. Or I could throw my own nade at it and it'll blow it up, but I don't want to, like, take the initiative to rush somebody's base and then run into concussion mines, you know what I mean? Like, just don't don't slow me down. I'm already taking the risk by rushing. Don't slow me down. So, I don't know what I feel about the concussion mine. Energy crystals, not to be confused with healing crystals. So, this could uh, possibly be armor, I don't know. It could give you energy, make you run faster. Imagine. Take some energy crystals and you're just, like, fucking flash across the map that could be kind of cool gas grenade if you keep those while you're in the uh in the storm you know keep them in your back pocket boom take off sprinting gas grenade hurls a stink bomb better clear out the much anticipated alternative to smoke grenades this one should be good i like that once again people hiding in bases throw some throw some fucking poop poop gas poop gas at them gas grenade i like that one what else do we got the m80 hurls 180 one M80 explosive for a small bang consumes on use. Unless they're dropped in large quantities or have a special property, these seem pretty redundant. Yeah, so I don't know how those are going to work exactly. I'd rather just hold some normal nades, uh, I don't know, or a grenade launcher. But there you go. You got the M80. The Moab. Now, this thing looks pretty dope. Look at this photo. It says, launches a tiny rocket that makes a big boom. Hopefully... It's a slow rocket. So it looks like a pistol that shoots a little tiny rocket off of it. It looks cute as shit. I love that thing, dude. The slow grenade. Create a zone of slow motion for all nearby players. Once again, I just don't want to be slowed down by somebody hiding in a base throwing slow grenades at me. Or imagine uh, this would actually make for some pretty great kills. Imagine somebody's stuck in the storm and you throw a slow grenade at them so they can't get out and they die to the storm. That would be pretty fantastic, man. So those are just a few of the things. We also have the telenade, you know, a teleporter grenade, which I don't know what the hell to think about this. Where is it? Do you get to choose where you teleport from? I don't know. It says teleporter grenade. Teleported where? So I don't know if this is similar to like an impulse grenade or what. Um, but that could be interesting if it just teleports you to a random place across the map or maybe teleports you to where nearby enemies are. I don't know. Or away from nearby enemies if you want to escape a fight. And then last but not least, we have the Tesla Totem, Zapper Totem, that slows and damages enemies. So, for like the 15th time, 
I just don't want somebody to be hiding in a base with Tesla totems, concussion mines, and slow grenades, just not allowing anybody to get close to them. You know what I mean? I'm just going to sit back from a distance and launch grenades at them uh, like I normally do. But once again, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the full list of these things that have been data mined. And, uh, you know, none of this is confirmed by Epic. This is all speculation. These are things that have been added into the game. Some of these could be decoys. Some of these, you know, are in Save the World. Uh, so they could have just been added to confuse people. That way they couldn't guess what was coming next. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about these new items. What do you think is actually real? What do you think is fake? What are you excited about? What are you not so excited about? And uh, for the rest of this video, enjoy the gameplay, and I'll catch you guys right back here tomorrow on some more Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's go, baby! Most accurate gun in the game, huh? That's what they call it? That's what they've been lying? That's the latest lie? <laughs> Jesus. Jeez, I think I'll take that. How many of these are? Three, and then I know I dropped some more over there. I'll take five of these. Dude, that was nutty. Like, I know, okay, maybe you don't spray this one. But still, like, I was on that ass. What'd I drop? Why does that sound like it's fucking below me? Honest to God, I just I was fucked up. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Boom. Just want to make sure. Okay. Probably. Oh. Probably didn't come from over there. I only got five kills, man. Damn. I had 16 yesterday. I thought falling at Salty Springs was gonna be some good shit. Hey, at least we got some nice quick scopes, though, right? Still gonna win the game too. That. That's just a fact. That is just a fact. Gotta find these little buggers. Oh, I didn't build all that. I don't think. Actually, maybe that guy did. I think he did build all that. Eight remain, baby. Can we do it? Dialogues is quick scoping, motherfuckers. Sniped him from 27 meters. Jesus. I'm trying to move in such a way that would be hard to get sniped. Or just shot in general. Damn, it's coming right there. I don't know if I'm... If I'm ready for all that. Is that where somebody was? He was in there the whole time. I wonder I couldn't find them. They were on the opposite side of the mountain. Shit. Oh, God, I just saw this guy. Look at him running. Let's see. Okay. What's the plan, big dog? It's time to fight or what? Oh no, that sucks. He was like, Ugh, I'm gonna build over the top of this. I saw a ninja do it. Oh shit, I grab. I grab too many. 
Boy just came to the sudden realization that he ain't ninja. Oh, what the fuck? Who? <laughs> he was like, which one's the wall again? I can't remember. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Eric. If you're gonna come at me, come correct. Don't come at me with that weak shit. I can't put a wall? Do one wall. Five people left. I got 13 traps. Holy shit. I'm about to just build like four different bases and put traps in all of them. Somebody's bound to walk inside one. Imagine somebody's crouching underneath me and they just shotgun me. <sighs> Bless me. <clears throat> well, I don't see them. Can't stop moving though. Gotta cover all my bases. There's gotta be a lease. One person left over there. Dialogue, snipe somebody, 46 meters. Yo, he's proficient with it. Watch out, everybody. He's got a snapper. Dude, I thought that was somebody's head. That bush always looks peculiar, but... It's a real bush. I hear somebody sniping. Oh, man. Take the 10 minis. <gasps> uh. Dialogues. Shotgunned him. Man, this guy's good. Somebody get him a contract. I seen you, bitch. So you're just not gonna fight no more? It's like, I wanna fight that guy, but if I go after him... Then fucking... The other guy's gonna come try to fight me. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Then I'm just gonna be angry. The guy's probably hiding somewhere. Just gonna let the real men duke it out. I respect it. Now I got a strong ass base though. Fuck you mean, boy. I wish I had a grenade launcher. Well, damn, he's just scoped on me from somewhere. I don't even know where he's at. He's not behind the rock like I thought he was. Like, do people gotta just hide and get the first shot? You know he's still just scoped on me. in the 
same spot. Well, fucking comes this loser. <laughs> what you doing, Doc? Come on, man. He really tried to hide until the end of the game. Honestly, he must have been hiding right next to me while I was in that metal base the whole time. That's the only, uh... That's the only explanation, man. This ulcer on my lip hurts so bad. Apologies, I know we, uh... I voiced over, like, the first part of this video and... Wasn't commenting too much, or commenting too much on the back half. Just my lip fucking hurts, man. I gotta get some... some ointment. Or something to put on that shit but hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh the fortnite victory royale here today let me know in the comments what you guys think about all these new possibly new items coming to fortnite and i'll catch you guys maybe back here uh later today if my lip feels better it just hurts so fucking bad to talk uh so once again thank you guys for tuning in if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance and as always guys i don't really have